instantaneous rate is the rate of reaction at a particular time okay at a particular time or at instant and instant is a, a point of a particular time okay so the rate of reactions at a particular time is called the instantaneous instantaneous rate and uh, to find the instantaneous rate of a reactions okay um, the instantaneous rate is equal to the gradients of the tangent at a particular time for example okay, let's say we have a curve okay this is the products against time and if you are asked to find the rate of reaction at this instant okay at this instant so what you do is you draw a tangent okay you draw a tangent of this point okay now how to draw a tangent okay let's say you, if you have a curve okay and you're asked to find the draw the tangents at this point okay draw the tangents of this point when drawing the tangents huh, okay uh, tangent is a straight line the first thing that you need to know okay and then the straight line it cannot cross it cannot cross the the curve for example if you draw like this then it's wrong because you see the straight line cross the curve so then it cannot be a tangent okay the tangent can only touch this point okay it cannot can only touch this point but without crossing it okay that's how to draw the tangents I have another guideline for you eh, for drawing tangents okay so if you are asked to draw the tangent at this point okay so usually I will ask my students okay you plot two points because if you have two points that is easier for you to draw the tangents right you plot a point slightly higher than this point and another point which is slightly lower than that okay so you see I have a point slightly higher and I have a point slightly lower than this point okay uh, and then you draw a straight lines that connect these two point so you draw a straight line connecting these two point and that will be the tangent but make sure that you this two point is not very far away from the initial point don't draw one here one point and then the second one here okay and then uh and then draw your tangents connecting these two points okay why if you draw this then you can see that the straight line crossing the curve uh, then that's not correct that's not a tangent because the tangents can only touch that point but it cannot cross the point so that is how to draw the tangents so after you draw the tangents uh, this is a straight line okay then we draw the big triangle because uh, we just learned that if you want to find the gradients then you draw the triangles right okay so the the height of the triangle is a change of the products and the width of the triangle is a change of time okay the rate of reaction is equal to the change of the products that is the height of the triangle divided by the change of times the width of the triangle so uh, by doing this then we find the instantaneous rate the rate at this instant so that is how to find the instantaneous rate